Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Henry, and we are going to talk about the main problem in the story of Sarah Plain and Tall. Have you identified what the main problem is? You may have already identified it, but if you haven't, this might help you a little. What is the main problem in Sarah Plain and Tall? <clears throat> is it that everyone in the family needs haircuts? We have read that in the story that Sarah has given everyone, by the end of chapter four, a haircut. Do you think that that's the main problem? Do you think that is the problem that the author wants to convey to you? Remember, a main problem can often involve a life lesson of some kind. So think about what's happening in the story and this part here about haircuts. Is that enough of a problem to be the main problem in the story? It's up to you to decide. Or is the main problem that they need a mother? Both Anna and Caleb have lost their mother and they would like to have a new mother and their papa would like to have a wife. Is that the main problem in the story? It's something to think about. We know that that's true, but is it the main problem? Is the main problem that Sarah has a cat? She brought her cat with her to the farm and the cat is learning its way around the farm. Is that the main problem of the story? What do you think? I've listed three things that have happened in the story, but none of them are the main problem. It's up to you to decide what the main problem is. A main problem is the problem that presents itself in the beginning of the story and usually takes the entire story to solve, to find the solution. So if you've identified the main problem so far, keep reading. This week we're reading chapters five and six, and you may be able to confirm what you think the main problem is. Good luck with your reading. Keep enjoying the story. This is historical fiction that you are reading. It happened sometime in the past, so that's why we call it historical fiction. Enjoy, and I'll see you next week.